and I'm pleased to be a part of the process. Uh, we have a very clear law in Colorado that our electoral votes are cast as the people vote. And as I noted, we've had almost three million Coloradans vote in this election. That is more than ever before in Colorado history. That balloting began in September when ballots went out to the military and overseas citizens. It continued through October all the way up through November 8th at 7 p.m. Lots of people cast their ballots, almost three million, more than 200,000 more than the last presidential election or any other election in Colorado history. It's important that their will be enshrined in Colorado's votes. And Colorado law since 1959 has provided that you have a very specific requirement as an elector in Colorado. You must vote as the Colorado citizens vote. That's what happened today. Uh, there were a number of legal challenges. We went through uh, both state court and federal court actions. Uh, the specific provision was that if an individual chose not to take the oath, uh, that that individual would be removed. There was a question on what the oath should be. That was resolved by the court. Uh, we then proceeded as well, uh, following the court's order that if someone took the oath but then did not vote, uh, that they were to be removed as well. So that's exactly what happened. Uh, as most of you know, when you get your ballot, if there's only one candidate, there's only one name on the ballot. That's the way the ballot was set up here as well. Colorado law does not permit individuals to write in other people who aren't running uh, who, or who are not legal candidates. Uh, those votes are not counted, only certified write-ins are. In this case, there's only one legal candidate for whom a vote could be cast for president, that's Secretary Hillary Clinton, only one legal candidate for vice president, Senator Tim Kaine. Colorado has cast its nine votes for the individuals who received the plurality of our votes here in Colorado.